Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a video on some really amazing drugstore products that are all under the $10 price point. Full disclosure, one of them is $11.99, but I think it's so good and I'm very excited to spotlight it on my channel um, because it's amazing. So one of them breaks the rules a little bit and goes above that price point mark, but I'm gonna also do demo shots so that you can really get a feel for these products in action, the whole shebang. Let's start off with the one that's the rule breaker and this one's $11.99, so above that $10 price point, but so amazing. I'm so excited about this. It's the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Foundation and Concealer. The best way I can describe the formula of this foundation is lovely. It is absolutely lovely. It is creamy and it is moisturizing. It sets down on the skin to a very natural, dewy, radiant finish. So it's not over the top. And the way it sets down is honestly like a soft spotlight on your skin. The biggest thing I noticed with this is the texture on my skin is softly diffused from the foundation, which I think is quite incredible. My skin's been doing a lot better recently because I have been committed to that SK2 Essence and I swear to you, the SK2 Essence has helped so much with the visible dry patches on my skin and just like the little bit of kind of like roughness I had from the dry patches, but I still have, you know, texture on my skin because everybody does and this because it's so creamy it's almost like it fills in those spots on your face it's beautiful and i just really can't get over the soft spotlight glow that it really gives the skin now she's full coverage i mean half a pump you put this on your skin you can see it just completely hides everything so if you are somebody that enjoys more of a full glam full flawless look it's got you covered, but it also blends out and really shears out gorgeously. That creaminess really provides the skin with just the dash of moisture that you want, and it just feels really comfortable and beautiful on the skin. If you are normal to dry, I think you're going to absolutely adore it without any type of setting powder, but if you are more on the oily side, I don't think you'll dislike this foundation, but perhaps something you're gonna want to consider is powdering just so that it doesn't get a little bit more oily throughout the day. I was sincerely impressed with the longevity on this. I've been wearing it pretty much every time just to test it out when I do my makeup and I can get a full seven to eight hours of wear out of it. I will say on hotter days, I noticed my nose getting a little bit more oily, but that's with every foundation for me personally. So I would just let it go or just like put a little bit of powder on it. But incredible beautiful it just feels so good on your skin now this is a foundation and concealer and the formula plays really nicely with itself it's not quick to set down so you do have some play time to where you can really build it up to your ideal coverage you can layer it on top of itself as well so if you like to wear the same shade of concealer and foundation you'll love it i like a little bit more of a brighter under eye so i tend to go for concealer typically but Truly, if you were a fan of Dior Star and you miss it like I do, did it come back? Like, I don't even know if the Dior Star is still discontinued or not. I'm so bad at keeping up with that, but this is what it reminds me of, Dior Star. It's beautiful. This is the Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint in 120 Peach. There are three different shades of this, I believe. I love to go for a pale peach shade to just help brighten up the darkest part under my eye, as well as the outer corner where I have a little bit of discoloration. I was so impressed with how non-greasy this was. It doesn't migrate. It's not too heavy. It's really nice and lightweight and sets down. I actually like to apply this as the first thing on my face. So before I do my foundation so that then I can go in with less concealer and the foundation really helps disguise any of that like peachy pink tint that might be visible if you put it on top of foundation. But it's just so lightweight like typically things like this are a little bit too creamy to where they migrate they crease they settle into fine lines around the eyes especially if you are a little bit more expressive you'll notice that under eye products tend to crease a little bit faster i didn't have any of those issues with this one and i like that this is not overly peach to where it looks orange under your eyes i hate that when you can really 
tell that there's like some type of corrector on the skin so I really was impressed with this the formula again like just so nice the unique thing about this is that it's not pasty, it's not thick, it doesn't feel like another concealer that you're putting under your eyes. It honestly feels more similar to a hybrid between an eye serum and an eye, like a light eye gel. So it's a really nice lightweight product. You don't feel like you've got another layer on your skin and when you do sheer it out, it really provides your eye with great brightness and just helps hide any of those shadowy parts under the eyes. I'm not kidding you, the first time I tried this concealer, I was like, yes, that is what I want under my eyes all the time. It's from Revolution. This is the Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer. Absolutely fabulous. It comes in a little twist up package with a little ball doe foot applicator type of deal. You know, those little spongy fuzzy balls. I never keep those on the product. I feel like they just, um, you know, they, they don't work for me personally, I like having direct access to the product itself. So when I removed that, I should actually forewarn you that the first time I started uh, twisting the bottom, a bunch of like orange straight up liquid spewed out of the top and I was like, did I get a spoiled concealer? I think mine had separated and then the product started flowing and it, I could tell that it was concealer and it is beautiful. This is a under eye concealer with medium coverage and a very quite noticeable luminous pearl to it. So it really gives the illusion of a brightened under eye. Because it has that luminous finish to it, I personally would not recommend it for anything that's textured. So pimples, um, just raised areas on your skin that you don't want to necessarily draw attention to. But it does make a really fabulous disguise for any redness or darkness that you have on your skin. So hyperpigmentation or just a little bit of irritation around the nose. I love it. And I just, oh my gosh, my mascara was under my eyes. How long was that there? I'm um, gonna have to take note of that because I was testing a new mascara today. So it's uh, transferred under my eyes. But the point that I was trying to make was I really just like how it brightens up my under eye and I really get that like nice luminous beamed up looking under eye. I have another one from Revolution, but I was so impressed with their soap brow styler, the super fix setting spray. Like I really want to try more of this line because I think it's so great for the price point. But this is the highlighter reloaded and this is in the shade Divulge. I was drawn to this because I really don't have anything in this shade in my highlight collection and it almost looks like a high intensity pearlized like seashell golden pink and I kid you not this is truly one of those highlights that is the definition of a filtered highlight it really looks unique the first time I touched my finger to it I did not think I was gonna like it because if you can hear it almost like feels hollow Okay, first of all, like, look at that. And then when I swatched it on the back of my hand, I was like, I don't like that. It looks too, like, white. It looks really not flattering on my skin tone. But when you apply this with a loose, light, fluffy brush, it will just glide over your skin and really give you just that soft, glisten of color and it looks really pearlized. It's beautiful. It, the powder itself like honestly doesn't feel like anything special but I mean look I'll just lightly glide my hand over it. You get really intense pigment from it. It's really a beautiful shade. Very impressed with it. I like that you can get that nice light filtered look. I feel like I should do a video on like just filtered highlights because they're hard to find. The quality about powders like this that really gives them their special charm with their ability to give you a really intense, super reflective, high foliage finish or more of a soft, dewy, almost glass-like glisten is the way they formulate the luminous pigments in the powder. Oftentimes, some highlighters have different variations in the size of those shimmer particles, which can sometimes create a really charming kind of like twinkling effect on the skin, but oftentimes that's not the most natural and that's kind of what gives you that distracting, I feel like I'm wearing highlighter effect on your face. 
Whereas this is really what's going to give you that like straight up aluminum foil glow all the way to, you know, just a soft little bit of sheerness on the skin. So it's going for powders like this that are more so uniform in the way they shimmer versus things that have different sized shimmers that really create almost like a glitter like effect on the skin, which is what some people go for. But if you want more of a true gloss look to the skin with your highlight, you wanna go for ones like this. I am such a hardcore fan of the e.l.f. Putty line. I think it's one of the best formulas that e.l.f. has done. So there's two that I really wanna share. First, let's just do this one really quick because it's gonna be easy. It's the Putty uh, Eye Primer from e.l.f. This one is in the shade Cream, so you can actually wear this as a eyeshadow if you want, or you can use this as an eyeshadow base. This does set down relatively quickly, so using the warmth of your fingers is gonna help keep that product a little bit more warm, give you a couple more seconds of blend time, but I really like using this even when I use cream shadows because I just feel like it gives me some added insurance. It's also really nice for people who don't wear a lot of eyeshadow on a day-to-day -day basis like myself, but I notice that my eyelids get oily throughout the day even when I do powder them. I like putting this down now just because I notice um, the longer I wear eye makeup, up and the oilier my eyelids get mascara starts smudging the powder that I put on my eyelids starts creasing and then I just kind of get like that weird uh, you know fold <laughs> of makeup that's migrated in the crease of my eye so I just have been reaching for this just do a tiny bit as I'm doing my makeup set it with some powder and bronzer and then I'm good to go for like all day till night Oh, the Elf Putty Bronzer. Y'all know how much I love cream bronzer, especially this time of year. I like wearing cream bronzers more like fall, winter, spring. They kind of just melt off my face in the summer because my face sweats so much, but I picked up the shade Golden Days. For some reason, I was anticipating these to be larger, like the putty primer, but it's the same size as the Elf Putty Blushes, which I also love. But the shade Golden Days is the only one that I've tried and I really love the way this looks. I like to apply it with a brush and you can see as I'm blending it out on my skin, it just melts into your skin. If you are somebody who really wants that bronzer that just looks like an actual tint of color from the sun kiss that you got on your skin, you know what I'm saying? If you really want that like actual sun kissed look, Cream bronzer is what you need in your life. And I truly feel like for this price point, you really can't beat it. I still love all my, you know, expensive luxury cream bronzers and all of that. But if you just want the effect, you don't really care about, you know, picking a particular shade from a luxury brand and you just want like a good standby cream bronzer, adore this one. I will say I do recommend setting it with a powder so that could be a little just a light dusting of a powder bronzer or a translucent powder it doesn't matter but i do find that if you really want to increase the longevity put a tiny bit of powder on top and it'll last you all day but the formula creamy melts blends just like works with your skin this next one is from morphe 2 this is the sunshine jelly eye shimmer Honestly, was drawn to this because of the shade. It's got that really nice peachy golden honey undertone to it, which is really flattering on brown eyes. This is quite a versatile product in the sense that you could use this as an eyeshadow base and put products on top of it. You could wear it on its own. Uh, you can sheer it out. So if you want more of like just a wash of that glitter or you can really build it up to get a little bit more of a full intensity look or you can wear it how I'm wearing it today as just an eyeshadow topper to add a little bit more dimension to your eye look. And I really do think it can give you that kind of like wet lid look. Um, I like how this sets down. It doesn't stay greasy. It doesn't crease. As long as you, you know, use a primer, it'll stay put. Uh, but I just really like the shade. I think it's so beautiful and it's unique and I would wear it all year round. I tend to go for these like peachy colors. I just feel like they're the most flattering on brown eyes and I really like it. This is such a good lip pencil. You know I'm always on the hunt for like perfect nudie lip pencils and the biggest struggle I have at the drugstore is I find really amazing shades but never the most selection in terms of long wear formulas. 
This is it. This is the way. It's one of the best overlining shades. It's the LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liner in the shade Gingerbread. Beautiful long wearing lip pencil. It's a neutral nude that's not too cool, not too warm. So it really pulls right in the middle to where if you overline with it, it looks extremely natural. And you can wear this with lip gloss and it's not gonna break down as fast as you know the other lip liners. It just wears for hours and hours. You can eat with it on, drink with it on, very minimal touch-ups. Love the formula, super creamy, easy to apply, and it sets down rather quickly, so you're good to go. Like you could just wear this with some lip balm, you'll look amazing. I love this. Probably gonna get a backup because I'm already like super obsessed with that shade. I also constantly talk about how I love milky, lip glosses and then I saw this in the NYX gondola and I was like <laughs> yes it's called this is milky gloss so it's just a milky lip gloss I got the shade cookies and milk it's the shade that I'm wearing on my lips right now literally love it's just a milky nude gloss and it actually has a lot of pigment to it so I'll show you if you apply it on your lips, you get a decent amount of full coverage from it. Whereas I really like it sheared out just for a little bit of a milky glow. So the less you apply, you can see it's quite a buildable gloss. You can do full coverage or just like a little bit more of a lighter glow, like a milky glow, I guess I should say. But yeah, I love this and I wanna get more shades because I want all the milky glosses. They're my absolute favorite. That's everything I wanted to mention in this video for my $10 and under in parentheses. One product is $11.99. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the demo shots. If you have any questions about any of these products, please feel free to leave it in the comments down below. I'll always do my best to get back to you. But I think other than that, that's everything I wanted to mention. I'll list and link everything in the description as well as shades. I forgot to mention that. So I'll put the shades in there as well. And I'd love it so much if you would subscribe and come follow me on Instagram. And if there's any other drugstore products that you really want to see me review in the near future, please leave your suggestions in the comments down below. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.